All right. Oh man, this looks dark. Good grief. All right, hold up. I gotta turn some lights on. All right, I'm back. Okay, so I'm basically home before my woman's home because she had to go further away and stuff and work. You know, we're both working, working as a team, paying for stuff right now. Um, anyway, so something that I didn't understand was um, oh wait, by the way, I forgot to say, welcome back to Alan, your hero. Um, anyway. I've seen a hardworking woman. She had a car, dream home, she had a dog. And I was like, wow, she's doing big things, you know? But she had this guy. And, uh, you know, he just kind of made it seem like, you know, I don't think that she's, you know, she didn't get married, you know what I mean? But this dude, like, wanted a kid, and, you know? And then he was like, try to make her have a kid, and she loved him enough to try to make him happy and everything. Oh, let me let me take some out the oven right quick. All right, I'm back again. <laughs> okay, so yeah, like, and he wanted a kid or whatever. But so, you know, the thing is, is that like, if you're a hard, like, okay, we know some some girls like, you know, they like to have many babies. You know what I'm saying? They're like baby machines. They just like they just love making babies. But like other times, you have women that's putting that type of stuff on hold. Like some of them, it's, it's, you know, it's not that many, but in some cases, okay, they're rare finds. They're, they're rare finds type of women. The women that hold off on anything that's going to get in her way of her career. She wants to be at the pick of her career. She wants to have her things, you know, in order. Well, there are some guys, okay, and I've talked to some, and I don't, I didn't, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why they want so many, but some guys want, like, this is the way he told me a, whole, a a basketball team of kids. I don't even know why why they want that many, okay? But I mean, there's some kids like I want a whole football team, or I want a whole basketball team. I don't I don't know what that is or where that comes from, okay? But they just want like ten, eight. They want they want a bunch of kids for some. I don't know. I don't know some reason, okay? Well, the thing is, is that if you're a hardworking woman. Okay, and you got a guy, but you love this guy, okay, but you haven't been married yet, but you, you know, you want to get married eventually, okay. I would rather say, you know, if he wants a baby or a couple babies or many, okay, in some cases where a guy just wants a lot of babies or I got no idea why, okay. You shouldn't like be, don't, don't hurt your career, you know, don't hurt all your hard work and give, you know, up your dog and give up your, you know, your your dream home, your dream house, or to give up, you know, all the hard work you put in 20, you know, 10 plus years at a job, moving up, you know, corporate ladder and doing all those types of things or in business or whatever. You know, don't don't just put that to the wayside and then just forget about, you know, the part that you want to be married or whatever and then just do just up once to have a baby or some shit like that. And like, now if you haven't been with him that long and that's what he wants, you know, say you're only doing with him for three years. That's really, that's, that's not that long. You know what I'm saying? for somebody wanting to have a baby, you know what I mean? Like, baby's gonna be 18 plus, 21 plus years, and if or not they find a job, they'll probably be living, still be living with you. You know what I'm saying? They'll still be living with one of your parents. You know, one of their parents, your mom or the dad, they'll still be living with you, because they can't find anything, you know? So, the thing is, is that, if you're a hardworking woman, and you wanna get married, but you got a dude that wants a baby, this is what you should do, okay? You can tell them 
that you're perfect, you're, you're fine with them, have you're fine with having a baby, or whatever. But you want to finish your career first, okay? You want to you want to be at the peak of your career and making money, okay? And then you'll give them a baby, or you can just go ahead and say, um, you know, or you you know, but you still want to get married, so you want to say that this is what you want to say. You want to say that, you know, that's fine, that. You know, he's got a kid because what if you're doing everything right? You know, you're taking care of the house, you're taking care of everything. OK, you're making sure your man is good, but he's just he's just not marrying you. You know what I'm saying? You're doing everything because some people just some people just kind of there's certain things that they just can't get over that. They just won't let them marry or certain family circumstances or stuff that they seen growing up or a certain baggage that just won't let them get married. OK, it's just like it's like. It needs that one thing to be okay in order for them to actually make that leap. But the thing is, is that a kid's going to ruin your, 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 you know, it's going to, it's not going to like ruin your success. You'll be able to continue it, but it's going to be slowed way down, like way down. You know, you know, I used to hear people say that, you know, well, you can be successful, you know, having kids as the same, at the same way as not having kids. And they're right, but not at the same rate. No, you won't. No, you won't. OK, because you, you're because it's a, instead of the money that you're saving for business, instead of the money that you're saving for, you know, for your house or for whatever you want or your dream, whatever, dream car, dream house, dream, whatever, you know, that you're trying to do. You, it's all got to go to the kid now. You know what I mean? And. And that's just your job as a parent now. So the thing is, is that if you want to get married, but you're hardworking. OK, and you don't want to just up and have a kid and then give all that up, give all give up your 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 house and give all that, you know what I'm saying? And give up, you know, you just say like you got, maybe you got some loans on the house, wherever you got to pay or whatever mortgage or whatever you got to pay. Okay. Thing is, is you're not going to, you say, you say, okay, I'll have a baby, but I'll get married first. Then we can have a baby. You can still have sex, do whatever you think, do oral, whatever. Okay. But if you're a hardworking woman and you want to get married and you got to do that just up so fucking once babies and stuff like that. That's what you're going to say. You're going to say that. Okay, cool. I'll give you a baby, but that's after, after we get married or after you, you know, you hit the peak of your career and after, you know, you make sure you look that sort of make sure you look up how much it, how much it costs, you know, to, you know, for a child every year, and how many thousands of dollars you need for that year, you know, to raise a kid from, you know, infant to 21. And I say 21 because stuff like child support still continues um, if your child goes to college until the age of 21. I know because I was, my mom was giving me, my dad was bad, my mom was giving me child support until uh, I got past 18. And this is a turn of the time my mom had custody of me, and my dad was paying at this time. And he ended up paying until 21 when I was in college and I was still in college. And after the year, after I hit 21, then child support payment stopped. So, so that's why I just wanted you to know, because that way, that way if you work real hard, you're in your career, you're doing things, you're working as hard as you can. You want to get married. Okay. But you got to do that once to have a baby or multiple babies. He wants you to have multiple kids. Okay, because maybe he grew up seeing a big family. He wants a big family. Well, you know what? You just you don't know. Because what if he changes his mind? You know what I'm saying? Though it's it's better for you to at least, you know, have that be complete for you. You know, your your career be complete, and then, you know, you're doing everything. You know, anyway, and then you figure, you know, why don't I? Why am I not a wife or whatever? And that's what you need to do because I'm telling you, some dudes want a whole bunch of kids, and then just. I don't know why, you know, and there's women for that. There's some women out there that's not career women, that's not out there chasing their dreams, that's rather be, you know, a mom with a bunch of kids. And that's what those guys should be finding. I don't understand why they want to mess with the hardest working women, okay, who's busting ass. You know and I mean, like, all they do is look for better jobs and they just look for high paying jobs and they and go to school, you know, and they, finish with master's degrees and they're or they don't finish with master's degrees they just get you know they just work really hard up up corporate ladders or whatever and they keep building their resume building all these skills and who knows man they, some women are super hard working and they actually achieve you know things like the dream home 
you know what I'm saying, or a big house with like four bedrooms, you know, so it's awesome, that's awesome, you know, that's a good thing, but just to have a guy come in and say, hey girl, I love you, girl, we'll have me have this baby, you know, it's like, what, and then, you know, and he just come in your house and then having this baby, you, you know, having a baby will just ruin, you know, all your hard work, all your hard work and ethic that you've put in, okay, your work ethic, your hard work ethic that you've been putting in, you know, to have your, to have what you got, you know. So the thing is that, hey, if you want to get, if you want to get, kid and he comes to you with that, and you're the hard working woman, go ahead and say, you know, sure, I'll give you a baby if you love him. Sure, you'll give him one, but after he marries you, okay. That way, you won't be sitting there wondering, oh, well, we, well, I don't know why he's not taking that last step. Well, he's got a, we got a, we got a kid and. We got, um, you know, we got the house and I'm doing everything, you know, cooking, cleaning, you know, I'm doing everything that a, a wife or a woman should do in a relationship. And I don't see why we just haven't taken that next step. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let that happen to you. You know, please don't. Hardworking ladies, don't. Okay. If you want to give them a kid, great. But do it. Do, do that. Say, okay, I'll give, give you a child after. We get married. That way, you've got it. You've got You worked your ass off. You worked hard for everything. You know what I'm saying? You worked hard in a relationship. You worked hard career-wise. You've got your dream home. Now you won't, you know, necessarily lose your dream home. Now you're complete, okay? You got that. You got the dog. You got married. You got the man, and you got the kid. Boom. Because you just don't want to be that person who has the kid first, but you never get married, though. But you're doing everything else right, and then you don't you're, you you never take that last step. You know what I'm saying? And this this is good because this shies away those guys who want tons of babies. You know what I'm saying? Just it's ridiculous. Let leave them dudes alone. Let them dudes go have babies with those other chicks. That's a match for them that love having multiple babies. You know what I'm saying? But as for you, you probably only want one baby, or maybe you want you know just two. You know, which is okay with the guy, but. I just don't recommend, you know, doing that. So there you go. That's how you solve that issue. Well, if you're a hardworking lady, get married first. You know, say that you'll give them a kid after you get married. So you so you get married first, and then you have a kid. This isn't like religious or anything. I'm just letting you know. This way, you don't ruin your career, and this way, you're like ruin your career, you had to get rid of your house because it was too expensive because now you have a kid and all this. This way you don't lose your your hard your hard work, okay, to these guys that just want multiple kids. You don't understand. But I'm just letting you know how to do it that way. So you get rid of those guys who want multiple kids. So you only get, you know, you get with the guy who maybe wants one or two, okay, because you only can get two genders, boy and a girl. So hey. So that way you just do it that way. Okay, then you'll be married. You'll 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 be able you'll, you'll have your house. You have the kid. You have the family. You have the man. Boom, you're good. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.